here i will start with the theme of the session today which is starting up as a student okay we did go through the golden rules cut senior mal and sonam we did talk about the golden rules today time is not your biggest asset focus is one good statement that you can note can change your life and the final golden rule is a course is worth it only when it is implementable you are attending this not for a certificate you are attending this not for writing that you attended a session in your resume you are attending this because this is a very implementable session highly highly implementable whatever i'll tell you today you can right away go out and start implementing in your career in your life in your college okay for your studies and that brings me to the next slide which is about myself the people who know me know that i am a career growth coach with buddy for study academy uh my background is purely of management i am an alumni of symbiosis pune and imt ghaziabad uh i got my first corporate job at the age of 22 years as a management trainee from then till now for the next span of around 6 to 8 years i have rose from the position of a management trainee to the head of the division and i have already trained over 5000 students from institutes like iits iim symbiosis etc mainly around soft skills required for a fast paced corporate career i am also an official mentor of change by niti ayog under a tel innovation mission why all this to ensure that your questions around the session are addressed plus if you have any questions if you want to connect with me around anything where we can help you out with this profile you are open to do that you are free to do that okay that is my purpose of sharing with you my background so you can check this and you can understand what all queries what all doubts can you come to me with so let's start with why should you start up as a student so people have different arguments there are parents we have talked to we have discussed with who say very specifically that college padhai ka time hai बच्चों से काम क्यों करवा रहे हैं या वेन स्टूडेंट स्टार्ट अप ड्यूरिंग देयर कॉलेजेस दे वुड बी पीपल सेइंग ओके दिस इज द टाइम फॉर यू टू स्टडी नॉट टू वर्क राइट मनी कुड बी अर्न लेटर यू कैन स्टार्ट अर्निंग लेटर यू विल यू कैन स्टार्ट डूइंग योर जॉब लेटर कॉलेज टाइम फॉर स्टडीज राइट हु ऑल कैन रिलेट टू दिस आर्ग्यूमेंट कैन यू रेज योर हैंड्स डू यू फील पीपल से पीपल हैव दिस मेंटालिटी can you raise your hands if you feel that people have this mentality ki college padhai ka time hai that's why you should only go for your studies and nothing else that's right this is the mentality today and this is a very recursive mentality okay i'll tell you the reasons why should you start up as a student whether you agree to this or not as a student in your college life you have no time so starting up is not a is not a, a set thing matlab risk free nahi hai aap jab kuch start karte ho when you work on your venture when you work on your project you do not know whether at the end of it you will be successful or not whether at the end of the month there would be money coming in or not so you don't know about this right you need some time you need some risk element to be there in your life which allows you to work on a startup right once you are passed out of your college you will already be looking to have fixed income you will be expected to have a fixed income right and once you enter into your job once you enter into any kind of work you will find that the time you have the spare time you have to explore is really really less and that becomes the first first very important reason that why you should start up as a student you might say that there is college there is coaching there is tuitions but trust me if you sit down and list down the activities that you do throughout the day you would understand that and also talk to people who are in the industry who are already working who are in their jobs you would realize that the time they have and the time you have you have a much higher bandwidth to explore right so more time at your pursuit that is the first reason that you should actually explore starting up as a student second
the expectations from your from yourself whether it is expectations from family from teachers from surroundings from your friends is the least now of course you have like you will have expectations from your parents from your surroundings about how you do in your studies how well you do in your college but trust me as compared to the later phases in life when you are a graduate when you are working the kind of expectations you have from your family from your parents from your social circle you have a much lesser set of expectations today while you are a student and when you have lesser expectations there is very less pressure of success or failure okay so you are actually allowed to fail and this though it sounds very regressive this is the key to the success of startups when you talk to people who work in startups when you talk to people who are running their own startups they would die for this permission you know this is the this is the most critical aspect of starting up the permission to fail and as a student if you start something aap kuch bhi chalu karte ho even if it fails you're not answerable to anybody the not many people who are dependent on you the not many people who would be affected even if you start something and fail you know right so that brings me to the fourth point fourth reason of you being able to start up as a student less or no dependents dependents are the people who are dependent on you for their financial needs for their economic needs now as students you don't have people who are dependent on you okay that is a very important very critical reason very critical factor which allows you to explore take risk right so higher risk appetite now another very important reason why you should start up as a student so we do understand that there is more time you can take more risk because you are allowed to fail people are not dependent on you aap padhai ke sath sath kuch chalu karte ho koi project pe kaam karte ho aur agar fail bhi ho gaye theek hai start kiya fail ho gaya you can start again right but when you are in college now i'm going to talk about a real technical benefit of starting up when you are in college in the chat box can you really okay i want all of you to type the strength of the batch in your respective colleges aapke college mein kitne students padhte hain can you just type the number in the chat box how many students study in your respective colleges batch size kya hai can you please type on the chat box so normally saying 800 plus what is what about other other students here how many students i need a rough number so let me say 1000 plus okay a rough number of how many students are there in your college course is fine normally saying 117 pllb which is fine mohit again is saying 1000 plus so when you are in college you are surrounded by people you have access to these many people who are your potential customers with whom you can directly interact now agar aap college mein ho aapne kuch bhi launch kiya suppose you launch something as simple as an app or as simple as a whatsapp group where you are selling stuff where you are selling daily needs items where you are selling you know your services of booking railway tickets or flight tickets anything you have a potential customer base which is surrounding yourself right at your campus now i'm not saying everybody will use your service but once you move out when you enter the industry 
कैचिंग होल्ड ऑफ वन कस्टमर हैज अ कॉस्ट एक भी कस्टमर एक भी राइट right कस्टमर मिलने के लिए काफी ज्यादा कॉस्ट एंड एफर्ट लगता है बट वेन यूर अ स्टूडेंट यू आर सराउंडेड बाई सच अ बिग क्राउड दैट यू कैन एक्चुअली टेस्ट योर प्रोडक्ट एंड गेन इन साइट्स अगर उनको अच्छा नहीं भी लग रहा है एटलीस्ट यू विल गेट अ फीडबैक स्टार्टअप पे अफ्टी अमाउंट जस्ट फॉर द रिसर्च just to get feedback of whether their product is good or bad whether their product is usable whether it will be liked by the customers or not they pay a hefty amount to research agencies you have that kind of crowd around yourself which you can use to test your product for the pilot and if your product is good or you improve it basis feedback you have a potential base of customers right there most of the startups which have started from colleges have the first base of customers from the campus itself from their campus itself and then other campuses around as a student everybody welcomes you everybody like listens to you because you are actually working you are actually studying and you are working on a project and that is what is considered really really good and that is why everybody will listen to you right that is the benefit that you have when you are in a campus with so many students around so many students faculty staff everybody is around you and and connected to you that is a big big advantage that you would realize once you pass out of the college and you don't have that advantage anymore abhi to realize nahi hoga but jab aap college se pass out ho jaoge and when you enter the market and you will see that even to listen to you people would expect something in return even to use your product people will expect something in return abhi aap apps use karte ho कोई भी नया ऐप आता है तो आपको बोलता है ना कि आप यूज करोगे तो टेन रुपीज कैश बैक आप रिफर करोगे अपने फ्रेंड्स को तो फिफ्टी रुपीज कैश बैक हैव यू यूज सच एप्स टाइप यस और नो इन द चैट बॉक्स हैव यू यूज्ड सच एप्स व्हिच गिव यू कैश बैक जस्ट टू यूज द एप और रिफर टू फ्रेंड्स ऑल द एप्स वुड डू दैट ऑल द एप्स वाई बिकॉज इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू गेट द कस्टमर्स use your product know about your product here in the campus you have a set base you have portals where you can just send a message and thousand uh, people who are in your campus will know about your product and give you feedback that is a big big advantage so these are some of the very very lucrative reasons why you should actually at least experiment starting up experiment on some project while you are a student right as compared to when you pass out now there are some technical benefits as well and we'll move to that what are the technical benefits of starting up as a student perfect thank you so much ab ye to reasons ho gaye ki aapke mind mein kyu aapko startup ki taraf jana chahiye as a student right फेलियर का टेंशन नहीं है कितना भी रिस्क ले सकते हो कोई डिपेंडेंस नहीं है आस पास पूरे कस्टमर्स घूम रहे हैं ठीक है बहुत टाइम आपके पास एक्स्ट्रा बचता है अगर आप प्रॉपरली टाइम मैनेज करते हो तो ऑल दीज रीजन टू स्टार्टअप नाउ टेक्निकल रीजन हेल्प कहाँ कहाँ से मिल रही है ऑल कॉन्टेस्ट सो एटी परसेंट of the startup idea contest are for students 80% of startup idea contest in india are for students where you get such a big highlight where like you uh, the benefits of just participating in those events is promotion of yourself and your idea prize money that you get just to you know present your idea the prize money is up to the extent of 10 lakhs 5 lakhs 1 lakh and so on there are investment opportunities as well there are agencies who are willing to invest in startup ideas specifically started by students specifically started by students right there is eo entrepreneurship entrepreneurs organization which runs 
you can just like these are something that you should note down because if you are starting up even if you just have one idea even if you have not implemented these are the agencies which are providing you a platform to showcase your idea and get all the requirement required mentorship and investments that you are looking for there is entrepreneurs organization there is head start there is lemon ideas then there are more i have a slide which discusses just these portals right a person who is a student and who has started like who has started working on a project who has started a startup get support from his college because all colleges now have entrepreneurship support fund which they use through their incubators so there are incubation centers all big colleges so your college might or might not have an incubation center but there would be a college around you who has which has a incubation center and all students have almost an easy entry to these incubation centers that are run by college universities they also have funds to support student startups now what i am trying to say here is once you are out of your college all these things will be blocked there are incubation centers which support startups uh, started by graduates but then these are those are really limited and the competition is really high there is a startup now today like there are almost you know i think 50 to 100 startups that are being registered in india every day so once you are a pass out you are entering into a big cutthroat co competition with these guys but when you are a student and you want to start up there are so many people so many agencies so many support systems that will be ready to support you success failure comes later but the experience of starting up has its own benefits let's talk about experience of start so it was i give you the story of specifically buddy for study here it was 2011 when buddy for study was started by my very good friend ashutosh banwal and he started buddy for study from the imt campus so we were batchmates at imt gaziabad 2010 12 batch and 2011 was the time he was working on buddy for study and there were a lot of friends who were not fully involved in the uh, idea and the venture but we are supporting ashutosh i was one of them so i was externally supporting ashutosh on buddy for study and his work and his idea and i was continuing and my objective then was to get a good job during placements i had got a good internship there were summer placements where i got placed with sab miller india which was a good company then and then i did get a good uh, summer internship profile good projects there and what happened when i was sitting for final placements i had a good rich resume which had good academics good co curriculars extra curriculars this summer internship experience that i did with a company and some experience with buddy for study which i had with ashutosh during the final placements most of the companies for which i got shortlisted in the interviews they spent the maximum time asking about my experience with buddy for study right so this is the irony that even when you go for a job during your final placements once you are about to be a graduate you are asked most of the questions if you have something around entrepreneurship if you have started something if you have worked on a startup if you have supported your friend on a startup on his or her startup that is what the companies are also most interested in so it helps in building your resume it helps you during your interviews it helps you to crack a better job even if you are planning to get a job in future 
while you are a student working on on a startup has a big big plus point big big plus point i actually asked this question a specific question from one of the hr that why if you are looking a person for a job why are you giving weightage to a startup giving weightage to the experience with a startup they had their own points they had their own arguments unhone bataya that people who have worked with a startup or who have started up themselves have a more self driven attitude they understand business dynamics better than people who have just studied have just relied on books they are more frugal on cost they understand the cost benefit analysis ki kitna paisa invest karne se kitna paisa return aata hai all these understandings you will have when you have actually worked on a project or on a product right taken it to the market this is the benefit that you get when you work on a startup or work with a startup this is a major major benefit you know and then the older companies will give you a higher weightage if you have like the conventional companies big companies will give you a weightage if you have an experience working in a startup and there is a clear clear weightage with the highest recruiting industry today which are startups so the edtech companies the fintech companies the media companies the new startups today that are hiring that are doing the bulk hiring from campuses they will obviously give more weightage to the students who have worked on a startup during the college life they are considering that equivalent to an internship we have had sessions on internship right who all from here know that internships are important please type imp in the chat box if you think internships are important please type imp in the chat box if you think internships are important type imp in the chat box okay so almost everybody thinks that internships are important right now what if i tell you if you actually work on your own startup or help a friend in his or her startup it is considered equivalent to an internship program that you have done that is the benefit that is the value that they are giving to the startups today right so this is the next important benefit equivalent to internships these are the benefits of just getting an experience of working with a startup or working on your own startup while you are a student now we have discussed why you should start up as a student we have discussed the benefits of starting up as a student we have discussed experience of starting up what it does for you the value of experience of starting up now let's go to a little tougher segment a more difficult segment where most of the questions come in on how to get an idea how many of you and this time you can actually type me in the chat box m e me if you think that it is difficult to get an idea to start something new you we all know startups are based on good ideas how many of you think it's difficult to get an idea and you cannot get a good idea to start up type me in the chat box type me in the chat box if you think it's difficult to get an idea perfect this is a very common question when we talk about student entrepreneurship sabse zyada question aate hai ki sir agar idea nahi hai to kya kare ye idea kaise aayega start up karne ka let me tell you this ki isme do aspects hai one how do you get ideas you do not get ideas when you start thinking to get an idea aisa nahi hoga ki aap list banaoge ki acha chalo aaj koi idea sochte hain jis idea ke basis pe hum startup chalu kar le aisa nahi hota it's not possible to get good ideas or to get into the practice of you know getting uh to think like an entrepreneur you have to be in the entrepreneurship mindset what is an entrepreneurship mindset very simple lot you can listen to the experts the founders who have built 
great startups. They will tell you about what is entrepreneurship mindset. Would you agree, or would all of you agree that when you look around yourself, there are a lot of problems that you can spot? Type yes or no. When you look around yourself, around your college, around your family, around your society, there are a lot of problems that you can spot. Yes, perfect. As expected. So experts say, entrepreneurship experts say that there are two types of people. There are two types of mindsets that people have. The first mindset is actually that which focuses on the problem. For example, you move out and there are potholes in the roads and you keep on cribbing. You move out again and there are people driving rash, you know. There are people uh, who are not following the road rules, the traffic rules. And then you crib again. Can you relate? Type relate in the chat box. Type relate in the chat box if you can relate to what I am saying. When we move out, we spot problems and then we start cribbing about it. Can relate? Perfect. So this is one kind of mindset. There is a second kind of mindset which is a little rare and that is why entrepreneurship is rare. The mindset which focuses on solutions. When you spot portals, you do understand, okay, there is a problem. There are bad roads here. Now what can be done? Right? When you move out, you roam around in your college, you find that there are big queues in the Xerox centers and you find a difficulty in getting notes. You find it difficult to get a system because the laptops are expensive. You find it difficult to pay fees because loans have higher rate of interest. Either you can crib about those problems, or you can see, can there be a solution? Now, people who are in the second category, the second category of mindset, think about solutions. The moment that they face a problem, they start thinking about a solution. Nobody says that you can have solutions to all the problems. But when you start thinking about solutions, there would be one problem or a couple of problems, the solution of which will excite you. Because once you start thinking about the solution, you will understand that there would be some solutions which relate to your interest areas. It could be related to sports. It could be related to academics. It could be related to games or gaming. It could be related to applications. It could be related to networking. It could be related to just online tutoring. There could be some problem, the solution of which might excite you. So problems to bahut sari, but kuch solutions aise honge jo aapki expertise or aapke interest se relate karenge. Iske baare mein sochne se aapko lagega yaar ye to main start kar sakta hu, ye to main bhi kar sakta hu. That is where your idea lies. Right? But before reaching there, you need to first understand that ideas stem out of problems or needs. There has to be a problem. There is a problem or a need at the base of every idea. And before thinking about ideas, you need to understand that you need to develop a mindset of looking out for problems or looking out for needs. Agar aapko lagta hai that there is a need around you felt by enough number of people. There are 100, 200 people who have that need. Right? Again, I'll give you a story of Buddy First Study and how Ashutosh founded this. Ashutosh has come from a background where he had to take loans. He had to apply for scholarships for his studies. And he also saw that there are a lot of students around him who do not continue their education post 10th or post 12th because their parents think that education will, will require money and they do not have money to fund their children's education. Now this is a problem. Now family ke paas paisa nahi hai, bachche padhai kaise karengi? To either we can crib, kya India mein education bhoat mehengi hai, aur yahaan pe sir wohi pad sakta hai, jiske paas paisa hai, baakhi loo kaise padhe? School ke baad college kaise jayenge? Jahaan government college hai, wahaan ja sakte hai, jahaan nahi hai, wahaan nahi ja sakte hai. 
But Ashutosh started thinking about the solution. He started looking for what can a student do if he cannot pay fees. And then he started learning about the scholarships. And then he identified that the problem is not funding. There were thousands of crores of scholarships available by government, government and private sector. Mm -hmm. But the problem was student didn't know about it. And if students knew about it, they were not able to fill the application of scholarships. And that is where the problem lies. And that is what Buddy First Study does today. Connecting students to the right scholarships. And doing that, Buddy First Study today is actually managing 100 crores worth of scholarship. And mm -hmm. we have created 40,000 scholars in the last eight years. That is what happens when you don't focus on the problems and focus on the solutions. Is this a bulb on moment? Can you type bulb on in the chat box? Let's see, you are getting into this mindset. You do get into uh, a mindset of looking at problems and thinking about solutions, but still you don't get an idea. You are not very sure ki idea aap kaam, is idea pe aap kaam kar sakte ho, ki in solutions pe aap kaam kar sakte ho. You're not very sure. What do you do then? Any guesses? Anybody who wants to guess ki student life mein agar aapke paas koi idea nahi aata, then what to do? But still you want to get an experience of entrepreneurship. Still you want to have that experience around startups. Then aap kya kar sakte ho? Any student want to guess? Anybody, can you guess? Suppose idea nahi aa raha hai, to kya karenge? Anybody? Mohit, you want to guess? Okay. Okay, Nirmal has one suggestion. I'll tell you, abhi thodi der pehle aap log bata rahe the ki aapke college mein 800, 900, 1000, 2000, 10,000 students hai. It is very unlikely that unme se koi bhi kisi startup pe kaam nahi kar raha ho. I'm sure people around you, your friends, other people are working on startup ideas. Aapko abhi nahi aaya hai, but kisi ke paas to aapke around idea aaya hai. And the people who start working on something in their college need support. They need resources. Because unke paas itne funds nahi hote na ki wo team hire kar le, wo resources ko hire kar le. You can, with your expertise, help your friends who have started, who have started something, who are working on their startups. That way, you understand the, you know, the dynamics of a startup. You understand how to work with a startup, how startup culture works, and you can actually also extend the support to a friend, to a colleague, to some batchmate of yours. Nahi aapke batchmate, there are a lot of startups working around. Aapki jo bhi city, India ki har city mein abhi startups hai. Get on board it as an intern with a startup. As an intern, you start working with a startup. Start supporting them. This is how you get an experience. And while working with them, you might get your own idea. While working with them, you get into the industry, you get into the startup world. That is how you get your own idea. So if you don't have any idea, that's not an excuse for not getting any startup experience. Work with a startup. In turn, do a part-time work. Work as a freelancer, but work with a startup. That's a possibly, as of now, the biggest or the most valued experience you can get as a student. Right? That brings me to the last segment for today, which is which platforms to look for. Right? First, you look for AIC. There are utter incubation centers. If you are in college, you look for utter incubation centers, which are established around your city or college, right? These are the centers where you can go in, apply for mentorship, attend entrepreneurship events. There is Head Start, which works on student entrepreneurship as it's, it, it is a highly, highly active organization 
यू अटेंड इवेंट्स कुछ भी नहीं कर रहे हो कुछ भी नहीं आता है खाली टाइम में स्टार्टअप में इंटरेस्ट है अटेंड देर इवेंट्स दीज आर ऑनलाइन इवेंट्स और मे बी ऑफलाइन जस्ट अटेंड देम यू विल बिल्ड नेटवर्क यू विल स्टार्ट लर्निंग दीज थिंग्स देर इज ऑन्टरप्रिनोर्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कीप ऑन ऑर्गेनाइजिंग इवेंट्स राइट देर इज अटल टिंकरिंग लैब्स right that might help you now every state also have startup communities you can search for them just get on boarded just get on boarded the least that you can do is get into the e cell of your own college every college today has an entrepreneurship cell be become a member there if there is no entrepreneurship cell in your college you start it you yourself can start it this is what you should do to start gaining a flair about entrepreneurship right if you want to take a screenshot you can take a screenshot here because this is something that you should know about this is your first step towards entrepreneurship apart from apps and websites what will help you is to get into these communities to get into communities like head start aic entrepreneurship organization these communities participation events will help you more perfect nirmal okay that brings us to the conclusion of this session it was a great great time interacting with you all we'll be back again next week with a similar topic which helps you uh find solutions to the problems you face as students okay till